Here on earth we have breaking news. I'm not sure in heaven there are breaking prayers. But with what's been happening in our nation, what we saw once again in Memphis, I feel like we need to pray for law enforcement and we need to pray for justice in America. And to lead us in that prayer, I've asked another breaking news story, a young man, 19-year-old Jacob Kersey, who was a police officer in Georgia until as a consequence of the law that was signed into effect here in, the Uni in Washington, D.C., the Disrespect for Marriage Act that Mr. Garlow made reference to earlier. This young man lost his job because he posted on his private Facebook page a biblical scripture regarding marriage and its reflection of how it reflects the relationship with Christ in the church. So, brothers and sisters, I ask you, how will we have men and women of character in vital positions of law enforcement and military and leadership when we exclude them because they have biblical views? And that is a byproduct of the policy of this city. Yes. Jacob, please come lead us in prayer. You would join me now, uh, say a prayer for our nation's law enforcement. Father, we too often take for granted the opportunity and ability we have to come before you in prayer. I'm grateful for it. There are more than 800,000 brave men and women serving in law enforcement across this nation, and the vast majority of whom are excellent examples of strength, fortitude, character, and integrity. But Father, we have problems too. We're sinful human beings, and the events in Memphis and Minneapolis shed light on our brokenness and sin. Law enforcement who's called to bring peace to chaos, well, we need the Prince of Peace. Jesus, we need you, and we need to repent of our sin. Father, I pray that you'd raise up a multitude of men and women in character in law enforcement who fear you, who treasure you, respect human life, have a good conscience and a strong code of conduct, and give them the courage to do what is right even when it isn't the easy thing. And help them remember the words you spoke to Joshua be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.